I would say in the average week I may see two new ALS patients a week. Well, ALS is uh, not just one disease. Um, there are many, many things that can go wrong in the motor neurons. And the motor neurons are both in the brain and in the spinal cord. Uh, primarily, I believe it was his limbs to start with. And uh, he had a genetic form of the disease, um, which just shows that, that uh, you don't need any environmental influences in some cases. How scary it is to, to have an autosomal dominant form of disease that can affect your siblings, your kids, your parents, your grandparents. Um, uh, it's a devastating disease. The idea that it's a rare disease is probably false. Um, your lifetime risk of developing ALS is the same as developing MS. And if you get into my age group, um, your chances of getting ALS is about 1 in 300. Probably telling patients that you think they have the disease is one of the hardest. And um, dealing with the uh, sense of helplessness that, that families have, that there isn't anything good that can be done. Um, and that sort of drives my research to a large degree, I'm hoping that at some point um, you know, I can make a difference in that, in that respect. Uh, from the time of diagnosis, it's usually about between two and, and three years. Um, but we have outliers, and I've had patients, uh, I have a patient that I've followed for probably 15 to 20 years now. ALS is interesting because it usually starts in one limb or um, just one part of the body and then it starts to spread. So uh, you'll see this um, um, creeping of the weakness and atrophy from one part of the arm to another part of the arm and then over to the other arm, or, so it, it tends to spread. ALS patients will often lose lots of weight because their muscles become atrophied, um, but also um, they can get uh, malnourished. And if you've ever gone without food for a day or so, you know how weak you feel. But I can tell you that there are similarities between diseases like Parkinson's disease, ALS, and Alzheimer's disease. And um, if you could understand how to arrest one disease, you might be able to arrest another. I think the one difference that you can make as a healthcare provider is to um, make sure you pay attention just to be there for the, the family or the patient to answer questions and to intervene where you can. There are some aspects to his experience and to their experience and, and to his uh, life that are that are meaningful and, and uh, um, it's not all doom and gloom and we're all um, you know we're all mortal and we're all going to die. Um, in the case of ALS patients, everything is sped up and um, and disabling in a very rapid fashion.